Okay, this question looks um, a little bit complex, but actually it's not as complex as it looks. It says hydrogen reacts with oxygen in an exothermic reaction, so it's, the system's losing heat energy, as shown by the following equation. Use information in the equation and the data in the following table to calculate a value for the bond enthalpy of the HH hydrogen bond, the HH bond. Okay, so to be honest, when I look at this, there are a couple of things I look at. And what I'm going to look at first is the, um, the, the the product here, which is water. And water consists of two OH bonds. And what's going on in my head is, is the fact that if I'm combining two OH bonds here, the system, whether we call it, will, will, will release, so you make bonds, you release energy, it will actually release two times, two lots of, 463 kilojoules per mole of energy. Now, I'm either going to do that in my head, or I'm going to pop my little calculator, which I feel like doing, you know, 463 times 2. You can see it all going on the fancy calculator, and we've got 926. A total of 926 kilojoules of energy given off. So I've written a minus because that's how much energy is given off because when you form bonds you release energy so on this side here the formation of water would release 926 kilojoules of energy but then I look on this side well I want to break my hydrogen bonds and I, that's what I'm trying to find out how much energy that takes and I also want to break this oxygen molecule but I'm not breaking a whole oxygen molecule which is 496 I'm actually breaking half an oxygen molecule because we've got big fat half here. So what I do is I think, mm, well actually this is going to take energy. So I want half the amount of energy to break an oxygen oxygen bond. I have a 496, I think is 248. Being a good little boy that I am, I'm going to check that with my calculator. So I've got 496 divided by 2 248 that's 248 yeah. so this is going to take a big plus sign 248 kilojoules of energy and I think to myself hold on if my overall system is losing 926 or giving off 926 kilojoules of energy well I'm taking up 248 breaking this, high, high, uh, this, this, this oxygen molecule so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove or add on 248 kilojoules of energy here. Going back to the fancy calculator that I got, I have got 926. Remove 248 from it. So it gives me 678 kilojoules. You see, I'm trying to find out how much energy so I've given off. So if the system breaks half or two, it's actually given off 678 kilojoules of energy. But then I think, mm, well actually, overall, including the hydrogen bonds being broken, which I'm trying to find out, the system actually only releases 242, so I've lost this bit of energy somewhere. That bit of energy is taken up breaking that H2 molecule, the hydrogen molecule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 678, and I'm going to remove from the 678 the overall... So to remove it from a from a from a negative, I'm going to add on 242 kilojoules, which is the energy released to the external system. So what do I end up with there? Well, okay, I go six, seven, eight, and I'm going to subtract. I've got to be careful because I'm bouncing about with signs in my head. Um, and so I'm going to take away, and I hope that's a takeaway sign. So six, seven, eight, I'm going to take away 242 kilojoules of energy, and that leaves me with. 400, let me just, let's just minimise this calculator, it's a 436, so we think about it. I've got 436 kilojoules of energy, yeah, which, which, which has disappeared, well, it's not disappeared, we know where it's gone, that 436 kilojoules of energy was taken up, breaking that hydrogen-hydrogen bond, and that is how much energy it takes to break 
a hydrogen bond. And then we have to look at how we're going to write this. The, sorry, this is how much energy is given off. So how much energy is taken up to sort of given off, how much energy it's taken to break that bond. So what would the answer is looking at is not this answer here of minus four three six. We've actually got to turn around and say, actually, if I was going to break this bond, it would take so be a positive sign, four three six kilojoules of energy. So we've got to be kind of careful because one way of thinking about the system leads us to a negative answer. But we're not looking for the the, the loss of energy from the system which has been absorbed by the hydrogen to break it we're looking for the overall picture of how much energy it takes to break the bond so it's going to be a positive answer so our answer is plus 436 kilojoules per mole and that 